Most of the differentiated problems you have solved so far have had a variable y explicitly written as a function of x. However, in some cases, it can be very difficult to express y in terms of x, and sometimes you need to differentiate using new variables other than x and y. A more useful method for solving this type of problem is implicit differentiation. This method is particularly useful when the function cannot be easily expressed in terms of a single variable, or when differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to the variable of interest makes it easier to find the derivative. Before I begin the explanation, let me introduce you to the modified power rule that I use for differentiation. As I frequently use a box in my equation, for convenience, I'll refer to it as the box rule. If you check out the community tab on my YouTube channel, you will find a chart of the box rule formulas that I've organized for differentiation and integration. Feel free to refer to it if you need it. The general power rule looks like this. When y equals x to the power of n, its derivative is n times x to the power of n minus 1. In the box rule, when you have y equals box to the power of n, the derivative of this is n times box to the power of n minus 1 times box prime, where a new term is multiplied at the end. This is called box prime, and it represents the derivative of the box term in front. It is a method used to quickly differentiate without using the chain rule. Using this method, I will show you how you can easily and quickly solve the implicit differentiation problems. Box prime is so important that I'll put an asterisk above it. Remember that from now on, no matter what equation you differentiate, don't forget to multiply the box prime at the end. Now look at the first example and explain why we need to use box prime. The first example is a simple one that anyone can solve, where y equals x to the power of 3 and we need to find dy over dx. Who is in the box? Yes, x is in the box. Then, using the box rule above, uh, we can put 3 in front and multiply by x squared. Finally, we need to multiply by the box prime. And since we are differentiating with e respect to x, we write the box over dx. The term inside the box was just x. So the box prime becomes dx over dx, which it simplifies to 1. Therefore, the answer is, as you already know, 3x squared. Why did you solve this easy problem? To introduce you to the existence of box prime. Let's take a look at the second example. In this problem, the box contains more complicated terms, 5x cubed plus 7x squared plus 1. Using box rule and differentiating with respect to x, we get 10 multiplied by 5x cubed plus 7x squared plus 1 to the power of 9, which is 1 lesser than 10. And then, as before, we must multiply by box prime. Since we are currently differentiating with respect to x, the box prime will be d box over dx, which evaluates to 15x squared plus 14x. Let's look at another example to practice multiplying with the box prime before we move on to implicit differentiation. In this problem, we have y equals sine x plus 1 to the power of 3, and the box contains sine x plus 1. If we want to find dy over dx, we first bring down the exponent of the box, which is 3, and decrease it by 1 to get 2. Then we need to multiply by box prime. Since we are currently uh, taking derivative of the variable x to x, the box prime is d box over dx. And we just need to multiply by the derivative of sine x plus 1, which is cosine x. How about that? Isn't it easy? Actually, I'm showing you a way to differentiate quickly without using the chain rule. It is a method that many students are already using, but applying this method to implicit differentiation can make the problems even easier and easier to understand. Let's take a look at an example of the implicit differentiation. Oh, but if y equals x to the power of 3, isn't this the same problem we solved at the beginning? Hmm. This time, we are going to differentiate it with respect to t. Let's differentiate both sides with respect to t. So the left side becomes dy over dt and the right side becomes dx cubed over dt. The left hand side naturally becomes dy over dt, and the right hand side becomes 3x squared, and we need to multiply by box prime. Who's inside the box? Yes, it's x. Since we are differentiating with respect to t, box prime becomes d box over dt, and we just need to multiply dx over dt by putting x into the box. So the equation we found is dy over dt is 3x squared times dx over dt. Unlike the previous problems we solved, we differentiated with respect to t, so we must not cancel out the last dx over dt 
and leave it. Now let's try to find dy over dx for x squared plus y squared equals 8. If you were to rearrange this equation in terms of x, it will take several steps, and if you differentiate this equation, the result will be even more complex. Therefore, we'll try to differentiate both sides of the equation directly with respect to x. Expanding the equation gives us dx squared over dx plus dy squared over dx equals 0. The reason why the right side becomes 0 is because the derivative of the constant is 0. To understand this, uh, simply imagine a horizontal line y equals 8. This line is flat, so its slope will be 0. Now, let's first check what's inside the box before differentiating each term. Looking at the equation, uh, we can see that x and y are inside the box. Let's start with differentiating the first term, which becomes 2x times box prime. Since we are differentiating with respect to x, and x inside the box, box prime becomes dx over dx, which equals 1. For the second term, the differentiation becomes 2y times box prime, and since y is inside the box, box prime becomes dy over dx. After rearranging the equation, uh, we get 2x plus 2y times dy over dx equals 0. And moving 2x to the right side, we get 2y times dy over dx equals negative 2x. Finally, dividing both sides by 2y, we get dy over dx equals negative x over y. Do you understand? And don't forget to multiply by box prime. Let's work on the same example we just solved, but this time we'll differentiate with respect to t instead of x. If we differentiate both sides with respect to t, we get t x squared plus y squared over dt equals t8 over dt, and the right-hand side becomes 0. Then we can expand each term and differentiate them one by one, resulting in dx squared over dt plus dy squared over dt equals 0. Let's start with the first term. It begins with 2x, and we need to consider what is in the box and what we are differentiating with respect to. Right now, x is in the box, and we are differentiating with respect to t, so the box prime we need to multiply is dx over dt. Similarly, if we differentiate the second term, we get 2y times the box prime, which is dy over dt, because y is in the box and we are differentiating with respect to t. Dividing both sides by 2, and rearranging the equation, we get x times dx over dt plus y times dy over dt equals 0. This method will be a very useful tool for solving related weights problems using implicit differentiation in the future. To see examples of related weights problems solved easily, click the link in the top right corner. This is the final example problem. In this problem, there is a term where x and y multiply together. So we'll use the product rule of differentiation to find dy over dx. Since we cannot rearrange this equation isolating y, we'll differentiate both sides with respect to x directly. This gives us dx plus x squared times y plus y to the power of 3 over dx equals d 100 over dx. And expanding the brackets gives us dx over dx plus dx squared times y over dx plus dy cubed over dx equals 0. The first term simplifies to 1 since the numerator and denominator are the same. For the second term, we'll use the product rule since it involves the product of x squared and y. We'll differentiate x squared first to get dx squared over dx times y, and then differentiate y to get x squared times dy over dx. Let's differentiate the last term, y cubed, with respect to x. The derivative of y cubed is 3y squared times box prime, where box contains y, so the box prime is dy over dx. When we differentiate the other terms, we get 1 plus 2x multiplied by dx over dx, which is 1, uh, multiplied by y for the third term. For the second to the last term, we get x squared times dy over dx. And for the last term, we get 3y squared times dy over dx. Setting the right-hand side to 0 and factorizing out dy over dx, we get 1 plus 2xy plus dy over dx times x squared plus 3y squared equals 0. We'll leave dy over dx times x squared plus 2ay squared on the left-hand side and move the rest to the right-hand side, which gives us minus 1 minus 2xy. Therefore, dy over dx equals negative 1 minus 2xy over 
x squared plus 3y squared. So there you have it. By using the product rule and remembering to multiply by box prime at the end, you can easily differentiate the given equation with respect to any variable without having to rearrange it in terms of x. If you haven't learned implicit differentiation, click on the link in the upper right corner to practice related rates problems. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any topics you'd like me to cover in the future videos, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I've been your math guardian, Alex.